So tell us a bit about what happened then when Leo was choking. Well, we were at a birthday party um, of one of his friends and uh, they were having the, the pudding, the dessert, and it was ice cream with some sweet mixture in it. Um, and when I looked at him, he did look like he was choking, but it wouldn't have been the first time that he pretended to be in trouble. So I almost had to get this confirmation that he was really um, choking and it, this wasn't just another wind up. And it was only when I asked him, are you choking? Is this serious? That he, he looked so panicked and he kept pointing at his throat and, and just looking really, really um, upset that I realised it, was, it wasn't a, a joke after all and that he was uh, really in trouble. So I had to move around because he was sitting between the table and the wall and it was a very narrow space so I had to um, just move myself around um, over all the other children um, to get to him first of all and I did the sharp um, um, snap from the back as, uh, as um, I was taught and quite a lot of the jelly babies came out. I'm, I was quite surprised at how many jelly babies he could put in his mouth in one go. Um, but he kept choking so there was clearly something left there but because I didn't have enough space to, to do the Heimlich manoeuvre and to try to, to do the um, um, the, the, the he tummy mean, he thrust. Means that thing. Yeah. I had to I had to try and, and shift him out of the table first of all. But it was in the process of shifting him out that I managed to, to, to press on his tummy that that sweetie flew off really, really quickly, really fast, didn't it? Um so that that made it better straight away. And so I think when it hit it was crushed, but it was definitely white. It was definitely white, and it came out really fast, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And were you scared, Leah, when it happened? I was so scared. So it's a good job your mum was there. Mm-hmm. It was really frightening because as much as you react, it's afterwards that you realise that things could have gone really wrong. And he was so upset because he kept crying, saying, "I thought I was going to die. I thought I was going to die." And he was so upset about it that we had to to get him outside and try to calm him down a little bit. I think the fright was as bad as uh, as the choking, but thank goodness it uh, it ended okay, didn't it?